Hey everyone, Game Dev with Drew, and did you know that 63% of you guys are not subscribed to my channel? Make sure to subscribe so you get updated on my newest content. Now let's get right into the video. Today we're going to be working on optimization and bullet firing cooldown. So, first of all, let's get into bullet optimization. First, let's go into our Area 2D and rename this uh, to bullet, just so I don't get... Um, messed up and I'll rename and I'll just get rid of this because we don't need that anymore now let's go into our bullet script and realize that there's no optimization we play the game and we just can keep on shooting bullets and if we pr press remote you will see that there are so many bullets being created S like literally so many bullets being created and they never go away they're always being rendered in the background you see how this can be a little bit of an issue so let's fix that go into our bullet add a new node and call it visibility notifier so let's put in the visibility notifier and scale it to about the size of our bullets. Now, we're going to work with these things called signals. So in the top right, you press node. And when screen exited, we just tap this and make a new method. It's basically sending a signal of when something does something. And in this case, it's when the visibility notifier 2D exits the screen. And all you have to do is Q underscore free. Q free just deletes the entire thing from the game. So when, we, when you shoot and we go into remote, you can see that, oh, there's so many bullets. Oh, they all get deleted. So many bullets. Oh, they're all gone. Tons of bullets. Nope, they're gone. And that's optimization. Now let's get into our firing cooldown. So let's go into our player scene and add a new node called the timer node. We're going to rename this timer node to bullet cooldown node. Very conspicuous, right? And we're going to make an on ready var variable for it as well. Node equals bullet cooldown node. Now, we're going to want to insert a timer in between each. So we want to give this wait time an actual float variable. So we're going to we're going to make a new variable called var. We're going to export it as well cuz we want it to be managed between the uh modular between every single character. So export and then we're going to do a float with a range from 0 to 5. And then we're going to call it bullet fire, uh, bullet cooldown. Um, and then we will just call it a float. And we will not touch it at all. Save that and perfect. So when we go into our player, we can make the bullet cooldown from 0 to 5. So let's just put it at 0.5 for now. Also... I want to do something with the project project settings and we were going to we we're going to always keep this thing on top. Always keep on top. Boom, just so that we can edit it as well as work with it. So that's just how we can edit values without switching back and forth. So, let's actually get into the coding of it. So, we're going to go into if action shoot perfect we're going into here now we will now set a delay so we're gonna set the bullet cooldown node dot start with the time that we're gonna put in which is the bullet cooldown and that's it. That's all you have to prep. That's all you have to do. But we want this to make sure that the cooldown has stopped between each 
thing. So in the if action is pressed, we need to wait for it to finish. So we're going to do if bullet cooldown node dot is uh, cooldown node dot is underscore stopped. But when we go into our game, it seems like we can't press the shoot button anymore. That's why we have to go back into our cooldown and press one shot so that it's as soon as it starts, it stops. So when we press the shoot button, look at that. It works. And that's all I have to show you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe. Leave a like and a comment for what I should do next. Have a great day, everyone.